What's up, Ash? Bam, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope by the end of this video that you will subscribe to my channel and join the Ash fan because I have some very interesting story times to tell y'all. And of course, um, this channel is mainly about things that I've been through. So it's going to be a lot of story time, but I will be doing other things as well. But anywho, we're going to get right into this video. So, um, today's video is going to be about the time I stuck my boyfriend into my house or my parents' house. So, <clears throat> first off, my parents are very strict, specifically my mom. So we we, meaning me and my siblings, we weren't really allowed to have nobody over when they weren't home. And even when they were home, we weren't really, like, allowed to have people over. So, yeah. Of course, when they went to work, we took advantage of that because we wanted to see our spouses or whoever we was dating. So, yeah. Um, I invited my boyfriend over and we spent most of the day together. And um, I knew the time my mom was going to be home, but sometimes, like, she would change it unexpectedly, just pop in, you know, see what we do and check on us and pop right back out. So, um, this was the time she popped in, but stayed in, didn't go back out. So, it was, like, late in the afternoon, it was, like, four or five something in the evening, basically. And she came home, and... I was tight because I was just getting ready to um, let my boyfriend out the house. And then my mom just backed in the um, driveway, garage, whatever you want to call it. Heard the car go beep beep. Heard the door unlock and my heart skipped a beat like, Whew, all right, boy. All right, Ash, what you going to do? Into survival mode I went. Um... I told him, look, you got to hide under the bed, you got to hide under the bed. I took all my teddy bears, like, you see, this one and, like, the large ones. If you've seen my um, teddy bear collection, all those teddy bears and so much more, and I just, like, threw it. I threw it on the floor. I was like this, like that. I took all my clothes out of my bin and I threw it I threw it on the floor because I know my mom she would come in she would check the room she would check under the bed she would check the closet because she she know us she know we gonna most likely bring somebody in the house because you know we teens and we want to have fun and whatnot so she ain't stupid now she did that and I threw like all my clothes down here at the side of the foot of my bed because he was under the bed and um, I threw clothes like behind the door so like if she tried to come in, you know, um, the door would be stubbed a little so it would be hard for her to enter in through the door. And I like threw all my clothes on my sister bed. I threw it beside her bed to make it look like the room was dirty and I was trying to clean it up. And that's what I always used to do. So boom, um, my mom, she comes in, she takes her clothes off, you know, she's changing, whatever, whatever. She goes in, she's like, you know, talking to my siblings, asking how they day was, blah, 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 blah. And she goes in her room, she's watching TV for a bit. Of course, I can't sneak him out because we on the same floor. Like, my mom's room is right there. My room is here. Me and my sister's room is here. And then there's another room right there. So, we the rooms are close to each other. So, I can't take that risk to sneak him out. And then my mom's door was open. So, you know, that wasn't going to work. So, and his phone, he had his phone on him. I went under the bed, I'm like, put your phone on silent. Like, it cannot be on vibrate and it definitely ain't going to be on, on, on loud because, listen, you're not going to get me in trouble with you. No, 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 no. So, I put his phone on silent and I slid it under the bed and I was texting him like, all right, all right, all right. You got to stay under here for a little while, you know, um, until my mom leaves out. Blah, 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 blah. My mom now, she's in the room chilling, like I said. I'm telling my sister. My sister was like, oh, um, Ashley, you are so crazy. Like, what is wrong with you? Why didn't you get him out the house a little bit earlier? Like, I was like, I was about to take him out, but mommy just popped in. So now, you know, I got to stay here. I'm 
telling my sister, like, tell mom you need to get something on the road, go with her, do something, make some type of excuse so when they leave out, I could sneak him out. And I'm telling her, you know, um, let me know when y'all at the destination. If she do um, got to go back out, go with her, you know, let me know. And my little um, siblings, my little brother and my little sister, they still young. They used to tell on us. They used to tell on me, my sister and my brother. They some tattletellers. Like them little kids. We had to bribe them. We used to have to bribe them. Um, Back to the story. So... Yeah, I'm telling my sister, go in the room, go in the room, go in the room. Tell mom, be like, mommy, you know, I gotta go somewhere. Um, I need you to drop me, blah, 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 blah. So, long story short, my mom, she came in the room like two, three times, checking in, because I think she knows something's up or a sus or something. And she, um, I heard her in the next room. She said she's gonna go out to the store or something, somewhere, do something. And I think she took my sister with her. And I'm like, okay, just text me when y'all at the place so I can sneak him out. So they left out. They went to their place or whatever. Um, he's under the bed. I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like you gotta, you gotta. I ain't trying to get in trouble now. Like, let's go. And then my little siblings was still home, so they didn't go with my mom. So I had to be extra cautious because, like I said, they some tattletellers. Um, my little sister and my little brother. I think I put. I locked my little sister in the other room and I gave her um, candy or something. And then my little brother, I put him, I think, in my parents' room and he was watching the TV so they was good. And then I shut the doors so that they wouldn't um, hear or see him going down the step and out through whichever door he had to go through. Anywho, I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on. So he's up, he got his shoes on, and he's going down, he's going down, he's going down the step. By the time he get down the step, out comes one of my little siblings. Oh, Ashley, who is that? What is that? Like, what's going on? I hear noises. I'm like, um, you know, um, there's nobody you know. I'm like, go back upstairs, you know, it's me. I'm just like throwing the shoes in the closet, and I'm about to check the mailbox. That's why you hear the door opening, you know. She should go back upstairs because you know there's some tattletellers. to tell us like i said they will sit there and tell my mother and your girl she ain't trying to get in trouble no 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 so he soon as um th she went back upstairs i opened the door i rushed him out i threw all his stuff i'm like see you later you know um text me when you get to the train station text me when you get home and blah blah this blah blah so of course, he made it out safely. I didn't get in trouble because my mom left out. I locked my siblings in the other rooms. They was busy, occupied, whatever, whatever. But let me tell you, yo, my heart was beating because my mom, she literally came in the room and she was about to like, like my mom was really about to go like that, check under the bed. So I'm so happy and so glad. I was so smart to throw all the clothes all over the place and throw the bears on the floor to make it seem like I was cleaning up my room. And it was messy, so she couldn't really come in. And I don't know, that day my mom was in a really bad mood, so I'm so happy I did not get caught. But that's that story. And honestly, I don't think I tried that again. I really think the day my mom came home early was because she didn't have to work overtime. And I was tight because I really wanted to, like, chill. But me and we did enough chilling like we watch netflix and all that good good stuff so yeah that's that story time and i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you in my next video